Jackie, you may rethink where you drop your mail. Prosecutors say mailboxes that were supposed to be secured had checks stolen right out of them. And this is definitely eye-opening. Channel 9's Gina Esposito was in court as one of the people involved admitted to the scheme. Outside the federal courthouse today, neither Dendria Kennedy nor her attorney would comment on her case. Would you like to say anything, sir? Uh, not at this time. Kennedy pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit bank fraud. Federal documents say she and her accomplice, David Miller, got away with $33,000. They obtained personal and cashier's checks and money orders, then fraudulently deposited the money into accounts they set up. It all happened between September and November of 2017. Many of the checks were stolen from USPS collection boxes. Right next to where you drop off books at the public library off Skelly Bark and South Boulevard is the this box where you would drop off mail. These documents say that it was burglarized twice. The same court papers say a collection box at Ballantyne Corporate Place was burglarized as well. A few days later, investigators say the pair manipulated checks that came from that collection box. Situations like this are why one Charlotte woman tells me she doesn't drop off mail at those boxes anymore. Well, I actually have thought about that before, and that was one of the reasons why I stopped doing it. You know, so it's just unsafe. It's unsafe a lot of places, actually. Prosecutors say the pair also manufactured and obtained counterfeit checks belonging to two businesses. In November 2017, papers say Kendi took a $2,600 counterfeit check and used the money to pay for personal expenses, including her rent. I've covered similar cases like this. I confronted Sayon Bestman outside the federal courthouse. He's one of seven accused in a massive bank fraud yourself? scheme that involves stealing mail from blue collection boxes. In South Charlotte, I'm Gina Esposito, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.